Okay, on these as well. Once you get those shoes down and rounded off and uh, looking more like a shoe, you can you can take these. Uh, sometimes I'll use this little knife. It's a little stubby, it's like that. And it's the same thing. Make a stop cut. Take a little sliver out and give them a, a sole. See what I'm saying? This way it gives you a uh, flat looking sole, but then you could also use these little micro mini tools from wherever, whoever you get them from. These are dockyards. And just kind of draw your line on there to show the sole and then just Go right around and doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Matter of fact, better not, better off not making it straight because it kind of looks more caricature like, in my opinion, anyway. So you got a little sole going on around there. When you paint it, you can. Paint that sole a different color than the shoe. That one shoe is a little bit still too a little high, but it's not that uh, that important. But you try to uh, try to level those shoes out so they look about the same. And um, back here, you want to kind of give him a butt. Uh, just carve, carve down like this, not straight in. And also back here, his his uh, he's wearing a uh, vest. So in the front, it's got buttons and all, but back here it's just gonna kind of just be a stop cut and a. And you can see his vest. You can go in here too and uh, notice I use these plunge cuts a lot to um, to uh, show depth. So this is where it goes under the uh, under his arm. Like that. And you can take his take his butt down from there in that way. So see the back of the carving is a good. These pant legs are just gonna you can make them hang down there and cover, or you can uh, make the shoe go all the way around and stop the pants there. So whatever your decision is, and. Uh, <clears throat> He needs a mouth, so for that I like to, you see, I'm going to do him that way. Once you draw the mouth in, draw the mouth on there with a pencil, and uh, he's got that kind of, that smile. So since I'm going, I'm going to use right hand, I'm going to go this way with it. Just go down and make a uh, kind of a shallow stop cut. Doesn't have to be real deep because he's got kind of like a and over here on the end you can poke that. 
You take a little chip out of each side and gives it a nice little smiley look. The same on this side. Let's take a little out on each side and that makes it now I'll take a little sliver off the top and a little sliver off the bottom And there he is. He's smiling. So he's he's wearing a vest, and uh, so I've drawn. He's also got a uh, bow tie on. So you just draw them in with a with a pencil. Okay, so I marked uh, the bow tie in there, and then here's his vest on each side. Looks like the vest is going like uh, right to his cuff here. So that's where you want it to you can draw that there, and his cuff here. And uh, just do the best you can. Try to uh, um, follow the the drawing. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Bottom of his bow tie here. And take out a sliver. So you can see where that's at. <clears throat> and then just take his, he's, he's wearing this jacket also. So he's got a jacket and a vest. So these long lines are his uh, jacket. And then he's got the vest inside. So let's kind of uh, open that up with a stop cut here down to his uh, cuff. Then come back here. None of this has to be super deep right now. You can deepen them up later on after you like finish the carve and I like to go over it and deepen spots that will accentuate the carving and make it look better. But here you just want I just wanna See that he is wearing a jacket. And then on the outside, on the inside of that, take some of that down. Towards the center. And you can do that plunge cut there and anywhere it meets another that where it goes under. You know. See his <clears throat> his bow tie is on top of everything. And over here on the inside of the jacket good spot for another chip cut out of there mm. 
he's got a little belly coming down like and it goes down to his uh, crotch here so but so so this is his vest it's going to come down here to the to the center and swing out a little bit back up that way bring out a little bit here and back up that way so that's going to be the same stop cut and uh, take a sliver out let's start right down here because I'm carving right handed but you can do it See where he's got, <clears throat> he's got buttons on this side. So that side's going to be the side that sticks. This other side's going to go back underneath of that. Just do some light, light shaving in here. And then we're right here. Take that over. Yeah, it's going to come down here. So, what I'll do is just do your uh, little plunge cut there where it meets. And you can start to see it. The same up here. So stop cut, dig out a sliver, do a stop cut there, dig out that sliver there. So down on the bottom. The vest is going to stay up there, so you want to go underneath here and uh, take your sliver out. Uh, let me get that longer knife here. So you can reach in. All right. There's our top cut sliver out of there. Got underneath that. And now you can see his uh, clothing. You see how most of this uh, carving is just done with the, the very the tip of the knife. Like from there up, you know, maybe a quarter inch. Is all you're using on the knife to uh, to carve most of this because it's so small. Let me go around this um, bow tie a little bit to bring it out. On both sides. And 
here you can pretty much get away with a plunge cut to separate that bow tie right there. Same here. Cut it out towards the neck instead of the bow tie because you can eliminate that possibility of carving, cutting off the bow tie. You know, every way there is to mess up a carving, I've already done it. So. Try to stay out of trouble here. Just keep your... Actually, I got my elbows. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning on my elbows here, so that's what's keeping it steady. And, uh... Helps a lot with your knife control. And always keep a thumb on the carving. Try to keep the carving stable. Stabilized. So. Now he's got a, a little smile going on there. I think he's happy with his jacket and uh, vest. So, you get the picture. No, it's hard to uh, see in this. This bash was so light, and it's hard to see any cuts. So, just work on that, and I'll uh, I'll be back. Okay, here is a. Uh, You can see that mouth a little bit, but but actually it's, it's better to take a little bit out underneath of it like this. And <clears throat> kind of gives him a bottom lip there. I'm going to use this little gouge here for just to take a light cut out of there. So you can see it right here, what I'm saying, right under there, and then you can he'll have a bottom lip, and you can trim trim this around so. Uh, I'm not going to mess with this face anymore. It's pretty much uh, where you want it. I knew his um, his sideburns. He, he don't have much of a sideburn. Just stops at the top of the ear. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them a little shorter here because I'm a sideburn burn kind of guy. Okay, sorry about that. The uh, SIM card was full. The camera stopped and I didn't know. So, anyway, I'm going to shut, I'm going to shorten those sideburns a little bit. And so you can see the ear there. So, I just make a, any, just make a little, uh, It'll be cut to show that ear uh, inside too. Super cut. That helps that. And I'm going to taper it down underneath the sideburn. 
and just take a little, excuse me, take a little V cut out of that. Do that every time. So there you go. And be careful around those ears, they're light. I'll stick some glue on that and uh, she'll be okay. But I ain't gonna mess with it no more there. And uh, that had been. Just carve around that or just use your little V tool if you got one. And it's got a little half in there. When you paint it, you'll paint that a different color and uh, than the hat. And uh Pretty sure if I don't know if they still have it there, but um, you go on Wood Woodcarving Illustrated uh, website. They uh, where I got this from downloaded it, so you can download it the pattern and Floyd's colors that he painted it, and but you can paint them any color. Just, just like to have the, not have the hat band real close to the you know you want to have it a different color that you can actually see. This one's a little light for me. I would make that bug more brown or whatever. But it looks like he never even painted that. It looks like it's kind of best wood color. And then the hair color is is what it is. Let me see here. Okay, this is a uh, stand here. So he's got his. You can give him a little bit of a knee here. Shape these legs up a little bit and make it look like that's a knee there. And, uh,. If you download this, then you have a really good uh, go by there. So you got <coughs> you got soles of the shoes. You got his vest. You got his jacket. His bow tie. See, all these little little details are you know what makes what makes Floyd's stuff really nice and uh, even after I end this video you should uh, you go over and just kinda sharpen up your cuts a little bit and uh, don't make them any bigger once you got it looking like uh, like Floyd's here yeah, so you just, these, these little things here get, makes the leg look like it's got a little bend in it and uh, in front there. You can do this, this is not just take your time. You don't have to do, do the glue up part and all that, just do the uh just use a regular old two by two block. And I like to um
And I like to, uh, you can get a lot of those, that stuff out of there, you know, with the, with the brush. And here where you see his arm, you want to see his arm. So you can kind of just take a little bit out of here like this. I want to see his arm a little bit anyway, it doesn't... Just stay looking. Look over your carving on the front here. And... I'm going to go ahead and end the video because it's already way, way long. But... I can take a... Uh, a veto come down here and give him some hair like that and then go in between those don't carry don't carry one all the way up to his hat just uh, uh once you got one in there just go in between or you got two in there go in between those two. Makes it more, look a little bit more natural. Like that. You can put a little in his uh, sideburns also. So, uh, finish this up real quick and I'll, I'm going to start on Ali. And you can go around, just go around your whole carving and uh, give it as much depth as, as you can. That depth really adds, uh, good look to your carving. Uh, let me see if I can't, uh, I'm going to squirt some water on this so you can see it a little bit better. Let me put this here so it doesn't squirt all over. The squirt water on it will kind of will show you how your carving is going to finish. Okay, that's Dan, and uh, I think uh, I'm sure you can do it. It's a little bit of a lengthy project, but um, if you're ready for it, if you're not ready for it, then go back and do my butternut face. The butternut face is a lot faster, and uh, it's a slow pace. I mean, I do it in real time just like this, too. So, so I say uh, carve something every day. Okay, there's um. Let's see. You can see this here. <laughs> But anyway, if you look closely at, uh, the closer you look at Floyd's photo, the more little details you're going to see, like the collar here on his jacket. And <clears throat> on his shoes, he has a little design on the shoes, and actually he's got a, like laces, shoelaces here, which I, I probably just put some of those in with a, uh, a burning tool. And 
<coughs> and uh, not really try to carve them. <laughs> he carved them though. You can see that. So if I just burn into a wheel, uh, keep the design here in there. And it separate the shoes with that and the feet from the ground and around like that. I'm not going to go too crazy with this burning tool, <laughs> but I've already carved in his collar that goes around his um, goes around the back of his neck. And it's got a little notch in it there. And I'm just going to like put a little burning there so it like gives it a little darkness when um, when I go to painting it. It's going to be a uh, kind of you could you'll be able to see that it'll be painted over, but you'll be able to see that. And uh, just go real quick on it. Don't, you know, I don't want to. But now you can see their legs are separated that way. They're right around the back. So when I think I'm done, with uh, the carbon, just go, go over and zoom in on the fo finished photo and you'll see and pick out little things that that he's done that that's not on your carving yet. You can so separate the sole here. I like to use this burner in between different colors, like the sole's going to be a black and the tops of the shoes are going to be another color. And they're probably going to be standing on uh, some grass or something like that. I can just carve this base up, take the edges off of that base and uh, kind of make it look like grass. And you want to show that that's the end of the pants. And around this. So <coughs> you get the picture on that. That's uh, where his hand goes into his pocket. That little spot there. And keep on try to not to go anywhere on the face with this because that kind of messes it up. I, I like to just do, I mean, you could maybe separate the hat where the hat goes into the hair goes up into the hat there a little bit. Maybe these sideburns. And this hat is still looking a little, um, little square. Cause, so, 
want to go around that and uh, see what I mean. Square there. Still kind of square looking. And I'm just going to use this and kind of take that squareness out some on each corner without reducing the size of the hat too much because because uh, what I want it to look <coughs> too little not talking <laughs> not taking the like draw a line here around the hat where you want the brim to uh, be the end of it or whatever and and I'll carve carve this out from the be very careful here without don't hit the face with your knife that's where you gotta keep keep my thumb here so I'm just kinda only move, moving as far as uh, I want to Carve up to your line and just kind of give him a little bit. Just go look at your study. It kind of goes. His hat kind of goes up there. I use this little gouge here and kind of clean out the underneath of this. Just. The inside of this brim without messing with the outside at all. Kind of just give it this little bit of dish here. And then just kind of just keep going around it until you're satisfied. Okay, something like that. And where his hair goes under, make a little st stop cut there. Make it look like it's going up and under. It doesn't just stop there, it goes under. Goes under the crown of the hat. So, so this is what you got. Just keep on going on. Download the uh, download this pattern, and and uh, stands in there. Make sure to look at your carving from the front here, like this, so you can you can uh, you can see his arms. And there's buttons and all. You can paint those on. Do a lot of stuff with painting. And uh, but you can see here he's got. They both have uh, a design on their shoes. And then he's got a couple buttons, three buttons there. You can. I could use a burner and put them in, or I can. You can. You can carve them in. What? It's up to your choice. They're pretty tiny. I would just burn, I would just uh, paint them on there, and uh, 
I'm probably going to try to uh, record the painting of too. I can bring this um, bring this hair up in up into the hat there. Let me see. I'll make a little stop cut around the hat brim. And I'll just use this dockyard uh, tool here to to uh, bring it on up into the hat, under the hat I mean, <laughs> like that. And same with these sideburns. Just give it a little bit of hair going up in there. Take them all the way up. I didn't have them all the way up. Something like that. That ear. So. I did cut that ear, uh, did break that ear off and I didn't put the glue on there in time to. But I just kind of remodeled, <laughs> modified it here a little bit. Separated a little bit so you can see. <clears throat> it's still an ear there but it's uh, not exactly the All good shape, <laughs> but anyway, so I'll cut this one down too. I'll just cut this one down to about the same size and uh, <clears throat> separate it from the so. I know I said I was going to end this video three times already. But you can just go around and like, see, make sure your legs look uh, round and not square. And these little spots like this where they join together, you can make a little chip out of that on each side. And if you look, uh, look at the diagram, you'll see that uh, Stan's, he has some folds in his um, pants. There, up by the knees and down on the, on the, by the cuff. And a few little <clears throat> wrinkles in the, um, by the elbow here. So all that, put all that stuff in. Just put all that stuff in because it makes it look a little more something like that. That's it's you know it's a bend in the at the middle. So then a couple more little wrinkles around it. And uh, this is a radial sanding disc, they call them, and uh, get them from Dremel or whatever. And this is about a weak, a little weak Weejin, but only for some really fine sanding, it's just like a little dusting. That you wouldn't be able to do with a piece of sandpaper. You need a little wheel to go through these. Get any fuzziness off. Like I say, round that hat off as, uh, until you're happy with it. And actually, looking at it from the front, it's hard to tell it's, but it is. If you look at it from the top, you can tell it's still a little square.
So, it's all the little details. I can go in here and separate this coat a little bit. So you can see. So the first video was uh, like an hour and ten minutes or something like that. And uh, I could go on. <laughs> But here's how you can see those. These are going to be dark areas that people will like try to. Uh, Accentuate with uh, with uh, antiquing systems and whatnot to get that antique effect. But this brings out and 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 they they wipe everything off except for what's what's um, down in these cracks. So this kind of this. These burn marks being there is doing that as far as I'm concerned for me. So when after I paint that with a light wash, it's going to be um, still see you'll still see it see through it, but not not like not this dark. And that's your uh, bow tie. Because that's going to be a different color than uh, the coat. Mm. So where the hair is going to be a different color than the jacket, and uh, it's kind of like a little stopping point for the paint. You want to separate here where the hair comes down, right under the ear. <clears throat> I'm going to separate the, the ear from the sideburns. I'm going to go around the back of it a little bit here. And over here too. Oh, I don't mess around with the eyes with this burner, especially when they're this small. But you can do big, bigger eyes, and they're they're better. You can uh, put, do a little burning on them, but not not a lot. Best just to stay away from it. Something like that. Separate his nose a little bit. Okay. I'm going to have to call it quits here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That was a pretty abrupt ending there because the uh, SIM card filled up again. And uh, I just wanted to, uh, let me see if I can wet this down a little bit for it to show you. Uh, it might look a little better. Hang on a minute. Okay, 
So. So, uh, you can see his vest and his, you, know, you can just keep going over this and put a, a few uh, creases in his, down here where his pants kind of hangs over his shoe, and in between where the, uh, where the knee, the back of the knee there, in the crook of the arm here where the elbow would, is, Places where, uh, when just look real close at his drawing, and uh, just see whatever, see see what's on his drawing that's not on your carving, and then go back and put it there. Because you keep seeing different things as you go along. Like I didn't even notice the uh, shoelaces and all that until. <laughs> So I did what I just did what I just said. I went back and zoomed in on it on the computer. So I think he came out close, kind of close. And uh, I'm not sure if anybody's interested in uh, the painting of this because I'm going to paint it and I could record it if you. Anybody wants to, uh, the painting videos haven't been getting a lot of hits, so uh, I might not even record it. I'm going to paint it for sure, but I might not even record it. So, use the study. Let me paint the colors on. I'm not probably. I'm going to use color close to this. I might. He's got he's got the whole list of colors right here where colors he used. So okay, so I'm gonna that's that's it. Thanks a lot for wa well, for watching, and I hope you hope you try to carve it and uh, post it on Facebook or something. <laughs> because I'll be posting I post my stuff on Facebook so. So, adios amigos.